okay hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to learn about sorting in javascript so sorting in javascript uh, is very in interesting topic and there are lots of sorting algorithms uh, in this video this is the part one in in which we are going to learn about bubble sort insertion sort and the selection sort there are a few more sorting algorithms like merge sort and the quick sort that we are going to learn in the next part in the next video cool so first of all let's understand very simple thing why do we need a sorting algorithm like why do we need to sort anything okay so for that um, let's just do one thing let's go to your lead code and here if i go and if i go through this problem section so you can see there are like lots of there are almost uh, more than 2500 problems are there there are 3000 problems are there almost 2023 so how i will solve the problem so on the basis of there will be some filter you can see there are some filter like i have solved i have attempt and there are some difficulties easy medium so what i am doing right now i am sorting my number of questions on the basis of difficulties okay uh, this has some weight easy have some kind of weight medium has some kind of weight and hard has some kind of uh, weight and depending on that weight i am sorting this question and there are some other filters too so you can understand like if you go through any website let's say if you go through some e-commerce website there also you sort on the basis of price like sort from low price to high price so from like sort from um like five stars to four star so we need to sort lots of things in development and again one more thing um this is one of the interesting topics to ask in the dsa okay so first of all let's see how to sort an array so very first thing sorting in javascript is our topic that we are going to cover today and the very first thing sort an array very first question you have given an array and you have to sort it if you have already watched my array video if you have already watched my array video you know how to sort it okay so i am saying how to sort let's say we have a cones array which have like uh, minus two minus seven thousand five and i'm sorting it okay console.log um what will the output of this code okay i'm writing array dot sort what will the output of this code let me know in the comment section according to you the output should be like as, as far as we know this sorting will sort in the ascending order okay so the sort output should be minus two uh, minus seven minus two five and thousand isn't it this would be the output yes or no so let's uh, just find out see the output is minus two minus seven thousand thousand before five minus seven before minus two why so why so so for that we can just again you can go and use google use google so you can say i'm um, sort in javascript okay and use the like this array dot prototype dot sort so here you can see how this sorting function work how this sorting function work so basically this array the default sort order is ascending built upon converting the element into string okay so what they do what they do um, first of all this is the number this number they converts to a string so it become minus 2 okay minus 7 1000 and 5 now from a string point of view from a string point of view 5 will come before 5 or 1 which will come before 1 okay so this come before the 5 so just for an uh, like example if you see the dictionary in the dictionary a a a a will come before the z okay the z that's why the sorting comes in this order okay now how you can fix this how you can fix it you want in the um, ascending order okay so for fixing this you have to pass a callback function you have to pass a callback function and let me write a callback function or you can say compare it a function you can say compare function callback function whatever you want to say which have a two key okay two parameter a comma b and i have to return the value the value can be negative 
because we are subtracting the value can be negative the value can be positive and the value can be zero okay now if you go and just scroll down a bit here here you can read about it if in the comparator function the value is less than zero so a should be come after b okay so your a comma will become b comma a okay so here what we want we want in the ascending order so we will do a minus b similarly if you want to sort in the descending order if you want to do in the descending order you can do uh, b minus a i hope you understand how to sort an array how to sort an array of numbers okay similarly let's say we have a const a string array okay and if you have any doubt you can write in the like live chat so let's say we have a string array and that have a, a mango a um, few more um, let's say apple and we have um, banana so this is our string now here will it work perfectly fine or not if i do string array dot sort will it work or not it work perfectly fine okay so it convert is check that a should come first so it become apple then b should come first b then m so it sorting this so this is how you sort an array now now let's say you have to sort an string so first of all we are understanding before jumping through the bubble sort um selection sort or the insertion sort we are seeing what is the inbuilt function we have after like learning the inbuilt function we will learn about the algorithm too so now how to sort a string how to sort a string let's say i am giving you an string <coughs> that is a um, let's say i put vishal okay now um, i will say console dot log can i use str dot sort operation can i use that can i use yeah no we can't use okay so because this sort working this function will work on the array it can't work on the string okay so if i do this so it will say sort is not a function so what we can do if we have to sort a string so what we can do we can write is str dot um we can split it okay and if i split now this split will convert my string to character array so now it's become character array v i s h a l it is a character array okay now from this character array i can sort it i can sort the array so it become it is sorted okay and finally i can join it finally i can join it and if i join it become this now now here if you see v come before a why why it so so the reason behind that if you see the sky table if you see the sky table you will analyze that the sky value of um the sky value of a is 65 and a is like lower case a is 97 so if you see the table so this capital um capital should come the first because this capital comes the first so in the sorting it's come first so now if i make this v as a v it will be perfectly fine okay but if it is uh, upper case so you have to take care of that so while using in build function you have to take care of lots of thing um so now i hope you understand how to use the sorting function for a string and for an array cool okay now let's see how to sort uh, with the help of this so now the first algorithm that we are going to learn about is the bubble sort okay and i am going to use one of the best like i love to learn about the anything by visualizing it okay so you can go to this visual algo.net it is a like one of the best website i find out recently so here if i go and uh, there are lots of thing you can go like you can understand about the sorting bit mask link list and lots of other stuff so today we are going to learn about the sorting okay so we go to the sorting and it is sorting if i just cross this so here you see this is the array you can uh, uh, understand this is an array which have the first element 29 10 14 37 and 14 and um, depending on the element value this is the height okay this is the height so now what we are going to do here is um, in this we are going to first of all understand the bubble sort okay 
so you can understand the bubble sort selection sort insertion sort uh, merge and lots of other sort but we in this class we will learn about the bubble sort selection and insertion sort along with their code along with their time and space complexity along with their comparison when we should use which algorithm okay so let's understand the bubble sort so if i just go there i can do default in the default it should look like this okay but if i do compact it will be like this so for understanding point of view i am making it default so that you can understand it now there is a create method here you can create your array i mean the random or you can create a sorted array nearly sorted many duplicate but i think this is good for now so if i click on this sort button if i click on this sort um i am hopefully you understand this okay if i click on this sort button you can see how this sorting work see in bubble sort what they do they will check two adjacent element if they are in the order if they are in order then they do nothing but if they are not in order then they will swap it so here if you see 39 46 they are not in uh, they are in the order 46 is bigger 39 is smaller and we want to sort in the ascending order so nothing will change okay now if i go one step ahead now 46 and 2 so in the 46 and 2 46 was greater so this we have 46 and 2 okay so now if i just do this this they swap each other if they are not in the order they swap each other if they are not in the order and finally after one iteration after one iteration what will happen the max the highest element will be at the end of the list you see um highest element is 48 and it is end of the list so now it will again start the loop it will again start the loop so let me just increase the speed so that you can understand it fast now see after second iteration the second highest element the second highest element at this okay second highest element after the second iteration so if i do the further iteration the third highest at the last third index so similarly what they do um now you can see read the code here uh, what they do they just see if the left element is greater than right element this swap it and they do until until they reach the end okay so let's uh, let let me just show you the code so that you can understand but before showing the code uh, let's uh, do this simulation with full speed um here you can see how this works okay so let me write a code to understand how this works and also i will uh, tell you what is the time and space complexity so we are going to learn bubble sort in javascript so we are going to create const bubble sort function which will take an array as an input and now what we are planning to do here is um what we are going to do we are going to use um we will come from let i equals to 0 at i equals to 0 i less than array dot length minus 1 i plus plus we will loop through it till array of length minus 1 because we have to compare it with the next element okay so make sure this is array of length minus 1 now what we will do we will say if array of i array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 if array of i is greater than array of i plus 1 okay if that's the case we will swap it for swapping we can do like that let temp equals to we will store the array of i and then we will do array of i equals to array of i plus 1 and then finally we will do array of i plus 1 equals to array of i this is one of the way for swapping and um, not array of i it will be temp this is the one of the way the second way we can do it uh, rather than doing uh, in this way we can do using the array destructure method okay so we will write array of i comma array of i plus 1 why i am showing the both method because when you are solving the lead code question you will find this kind of syntax so you should know what this happen like how to swap swap in both ways so yeah this is how the sort now finally what we have to do this is the one iteration and we have to do this iteration and number of time so for that what we will do we will use it a do while loop 
do while loops and we will paste this uh, for loop here okay now we have to create one variable let's swap let's swap and uh, we will make this swap equals to false swap equals to false and when we swap it we make our swap equals to true and now finally if you didn't swap okay until this swap you will do this otherwise you will just return the array okay so let me just show you with an example console.log um, we have the bubble sort and here we have the array um, do we have the array yep we have the array and here i will pass the array you see it's sort now let me just show you line by line how they are working i can show you how they are working line by line so at the first you can see um, there are just wait a second let me just at my yeah i got it so let me make it big okay so here in the bubble sort we have the array um let's make it the red color and let's make it it should be this cool so we have this array this is like uh minus 2 minus 7 um let's say 5 and what the array we have we have the array Hmm. Minus two, minus seven thousand and five. Let's use this one. No problem. Okay. So let's say this is our array. Let's say this is our array. So what they do? They will check. Uh, they will initialize this swapped variable. Okay. And they will uh, like make it with false. Make it with false. And they they will check like this is i equals to 0 and it will check with its next element are they in the order yes they are in the order okay say if they are in the order they skip this if loop okay they will iterate here so now our i equals to 1 so now it will check are they in the order no they are not in the order so if they are not in the order so they will swap it how they swap they create a temp variable and in that temp variable they store the array of i array of i is 1000 okay okay um just wait for a second um let me put it here okay yeah let me put it here so minus two minus two um thousand five and minus seven and now we start from here it minus two and thousand in the order so our pointer come here thousand and five are not in the order if 1005 is not in the order so we can say um, we will store our temp temp 1000 here and then what we will do we will make our array of i this value array of i plus 1 so 5 so this will become 5 this become 5 and this become 5 so now if you see both of them become 5 so if you didn't store in any temp variable then we will lose that value so that we are storing in the temp okay now finally what we will do, we will do array of i plus 1 equals to 10. We will make this equals to 1000. So our new array will become minus 2, 1000, uh, minus 2, 5, 1000 and minus 7. Okay, and now we will make our i here and we will check are they in the order? No, they are also not in the order. So again they will swap it, it become minus 7 and it become 1000. So after the first iteration, after the first iteration, our we have the array minus 2, 5, uh, minus 7 and 1000. And you see the highest element at, at the end of the list. Now what we have to do, you see the swap becomes true. If you swap, the swap becomes true. If the swap be becomes true, we will again iterate. Okay. And we will again iterate. This time we will check minus 2 and 5 are the order. Yes, they are in the order. Minus 5, 7. They are not in the order. So we will make it minus 7, make it 5. We will again check it. Um, like 5 and 1000 in the order. So we don't have to do. Now, again, we minus 2, minus 7 are the order. No. So it become minus 2. It become 
this minus two, it become minus seven. So now they are in the order. Finally, we will return it. Finally, we will return this array. Now, if you think about it, why we are using this swap? Why we are using this swap? Why we are using the swap? So let me show you why we are using the swap. Um, let me just close it. So if I come in the bubble sort and take a picture, in this, let's say we have the array one comma two comma three comma four. Let's say this is our array. Okay. So in this array, um, I check they are in the order. 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 So all of them are in the order. So my swap become false. It is false and it never execute this line. It never execute this line. Never execute this line. So it will finally break the loop and come out. So how many iteration it's done? Is the time complexity will be O of n. It's just iterate over this loop only one time. Did you understand? It iterate only the one time. So what is the time complexity of this bubble sort? So the time complexity of bubble sort is time complexity of this will be um in the best case when the array is already sorted in the best case the time complexity will be o of n so we will say best case best case it will be n okay linear and in the worst case worst case when will the worst case when it is in the inverse order in the um let's say 4 3 2 1 here this is not in the order you have to swap this is not in the order you have to swap so here the time complexity will become o of n square and on an average also it will be o of n square because this inner loop will run n times this inner loop will run n times and this outer loop will also run n times so the time complexity of the bubble sort will be um, n square and the space complexity of this will be because we are not using any extra space so space complexity will become O of 1 this is with space complexity we have to discuss few more things like um, stable sorting and in space like in place sorting kind of thing but we will discuss this at the end of the video while we are comparing all these three sorting algorithm okay so now I hope you are able to understand what is bubble sort okay there can be like multiple way of doing this okay i use the do by loop you can do with the while loop you can use the two for loop okay so there can be like lots of other ways so yeah the thing you have to understand in the bubble sort you have to uh, you have to check the two adjacent element and if they are not in the order swap it just and you have to do it until and unless you find all array sorted this is what bubble sort is so now let's learn about our next sorting algorithm which is um, selection sort do you have any doubt in the bubble sort write in the comment section I think you should not have any doubt the reason behind that we are understanding with the visual then we write the code for that and then we write the time and space complexity okay so if I go through the selection sort no no doubt no no okay okay cool so here we can see um, these have 20 um, this is our array and I just want to do selection sort. So what in the selection sort they do, they find the minimum va minimum value and place it with the um, like first element. Okay, wait, 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 um, wait. I have to make it egg them slow. Okay. So do sorting again. See what they are doing in the selection sort they find the minimum index minimum element and they will place it at the first index then in the rest of array they will again find the minimum index and place at the second index okay then again find the minimum index and place it at the third index this is how they sort selection this is why its name is selection selecting the minimum index selecting the minimum index cool so you can see as of now the minimum index is 21 and the current element is 37 so if i make one ahead now current element is 44 if i just play it play um you see 
now current minimum element is 5 so what they will do they will place this minimum element and swap it with this 21 so this first element will become 5 and the last element will become 21 see they will swap it i hope you understand and they will do it until they like sort every element they will find the minimum swap it cool so this is how they are doing and you can see the pseudo code here so what they are doing set the first unsorted element as the minimum so they first sort this is the minimum 37 and then what they do they will find like if the current element is less than minimum if yes then they will make it that element a minimum element okay so that's a lot of thing uh, first of all let's understand um let's write a code for that okay so we are going to say set set selection code selection sort and it's also take an array as an input then what we are gonna do we are going to say we are loop through it okay we are loop through it let i equals to zero i less than array dot length i plus plus okay now what we have to do what we have to do first of all we have to find the current element okay so we will say um let let current element um not do in this way we are going to say let j equals to i plus 1 okay and j should be less than array dot length j plus plus okay if you are doing i plus 1 so you can do it here array of length minus 1 okay now what you will do you will say if array of j array of j is less than your minimum index okay so what you can do it um rather than doing this way and let me show you with an example let's say we have this we have this array um minus two um thousand thousand five and minus seven so what we'll do we will start iterating from here we will start iterating from here and we will find um, we will set this as a mean index we will set it as a mean index let's say mean index is zero now we will find is it less than this if yes we will make our mean index we will make our mean index x this index okay so let's do that what we will do here we will say let mean index is equals to i okay and now finally we will check if less than array of mean index if array of mean index um so what we will do array of mean index um that will equals to that will equals to array of j okay finally like that and finally we will return finally we will return the array finally we will return the array let's see array of mean index is equals to i and what we have to do we have to do mean index is equals to j2 let's do if that's working or not console.log console.log um selection short and here i am going to part the array um i think there is some issue i think there is some issue like if you can find the issue just let me know we have to swap it so for that swapping we can say array of min index array of min index with array of i with array of i will equals to uh, will equals to array of min index um no array of i comma array of min index cool this is how it's work now here now here you can do one more thing here you can do one more thing um if you have to find um how many times you have swapped so you can initialize the swap count here and you can increase the swap count equals to um like plus plus okay and you can console log here console.log swap count so you can see you have swap it here uh, like six times okay cool i will do that a live too 
uh, and similarly i am going to do swap count equals to 0 and whenever you swap it whenever you are swapping it i am going to make um swap count equals to um not like that i will say if you find the min index which is not equals to i in that case just make the swap count and console dot log okay so for now let's uh, remove it okay just remove this all set see this is the selection sort and let me uh, show you with an example okay so you can understand if you don't practice it you you can also confuse it okay so here we have the selection sort in this selection sort what we are planning to do uh, let's say we have minus 2 5 1000 and minus 7 this is our array this is our array so we will see we initialize our min index to this we assume this is our min index and then we will iterate from i plus 1 from 5 and we will check is this 5 is this 5 is less than min index no it is not then we will check is this 1000 is less than minus 2 no it is not is the minus 7 is less than this yes it is so what we will do we will make our min index make our min index min index to j which is 3 so we will make it 3 and finally after this loop we will what we will check our, um, this min index is 3 and i is 0 i is 0 so we will swap it they are not equal so we will swap it so we will make it minus 7 we will make it minus 2 okay now what we will do we will again check our i will become 1 our min index will become 5 min index will become 5 so this will become like 1 and minimum element is 5 so we will check is 5 and 1000 which is smaller like 1000 is smaller than 5 no minus 2 is smaller than 5 yes so our min index will become 3 now our min index will become 3 and we will swap minus 2 and minus 5 so this will be cancelled it become minus 2 and this become 5 again we will check this will become our uh, let's say min index will become what is this this is 2 we will check is 1000 is 5 is less than 1000 yes it is so our min index will again become 3 and it will swap 5 and 1000 5 here 1000 here ok so how many times the swapping occurs how many times the swapping occurs how many times how many times maximum number of swapping will be here n minus 1 the maximum number of swapping here will be just n minus 1 but if you see <coughs> the maximum number of swapping maximum number of swapping here will be n into n minus 1 by 2 here the maximum number of swapping will be n into n minus 1 by 2 cool so you can understand that um, if you compare the bubble sort and the selection sort if you compare the bubble sort and the selection sort the number of comparison in this selection sort is very less as compared to the bubble sort although um, bubble sort selection sort and injection sort both of like all of them are O of n square but when we compare about the number of swapping okay so that is very less in the selection sort and now let's uh, discuss about the time complexity so here if you discuss the time complexity so we can say we can say this will take this will this will take n times and this will take n times and there is no best or worst case it will always take O of n square it will always take off and say there is no certain condition like a break condition do while condition so it will always take off and time complexity and the space complexity of this again we are not using any extra space so the space complexity of this will be off uh, i hope you all understand this could we go to the next or do you have any doubt do you have any doubt or we can go ahead and one more thing um, you can just remove this okay there is no need of that matlab if you remove then also it will work perfectly fine any doubt i think my camera is off uh, let me just okay so now let's i think there is no one who have doubt in the selection sort so we can go with the 
Next, that is insertion sort in JavaScript. So here, if I come back um, at this, and let's remove it. Sometimes you have to uh, just Google it. Few issues. Insertion sort. So what did insertion sort do? They will uh, first of all, let's just do sorting. Okay. So they will check. They will check. They separate uh, two things. They have the sorted array and they have the unsorted array. And they will check the right element in the in the left element. So see, let me show you with an example. So here now see these are the sorted part. This is the sorted array. 31, 48, 48 is the sorted array. And this is the unsorted array. Now what they will do, they will pick this six. They will pick this six and check ways to place it, ways to insert this six in this sorted array. So it will check if six is less than 48. Yes. So it will make this six a 48 and it will make this 48 with six. Then it will again check this six is less than 48. Yes. So it will swap it. Then again it will check 6 is less than 38 it will swap it so this is how they do just see is less than 48 yes make it here less than 48 yes less than 31 yes so now after one operation you can see this left side is the sorted array the right side is the unsorted array they are picking an element from the right side and inserting in the left side this is just simple in the sorted okay let me just make it a little faster so that you can understand how they are doing. Just see the transition, how they are doing. And one more thing, if you are interested, uh, like me make some project like this, you can let me know in the comment section. I would love to make a few front end projects like this. And these are the some good level projects. Here your code is simulating, you can see the code, you can see the like arrays thing. Okay, so let's read the simple code. So what you have to do, you have to make the first element as a sorted element. We understand this 6 is the sorted. Then what we will do? For the each unsorted element x, extract the value. And then you have to do like, you have to come back. You have to see in the left order. If you find any element which is um, greater than x, you have to continue. Otherwise, you will just break the loop and insert x there. Now, I will do that. If you are interested, I will do. I will make a one project on sorting visualizer where we will see the time complexity, the space complexity, a little bit of bio, like what this do and along with their performance like. <coughs> okay, so we will do that. So make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see such kind of code. So for um, insertion, insertion, sort. Huh, I will develop life. I will develop life. Now, see, in the insertion short, what we are doing, again, see, um, we are here. First of all, make first element as sorted element. Okay. So, I have to iterate from the first element. From the first element. So, I have to check backward. So, what I will do? I will do i equals to 1. And i less than array dot length and i plus plus and here it is not array it is array see here in the selection sort i i have to check the next element that's why i start from zero and make it array of length minus one but here i have to check backward so i am making it from i equals to one and i array of i um, less than array dot length okay so this is what it is now what we have to do we have to store the current element. We have to store the current element and we are going to say the current element is array of i. Okay. And we are going to say um, let, let minimum. Let um, minimum. Okay. Not let minimum. Let j is equals to i minus 1. We have to check it backward. And what we are going to say, we will say while this j is less than equals to 0. So we are checking the, like, it should not be outflow. And what we will do, we will say if array of j, if your current element is greater than current. So you just, what you have to do, you have to make your array of j plus 1 to um, what you have to do, array of j. Okay. And uh, finally do j minus minus. Just wait for a second. I will uh, talk what is this. And finally we will swap it. We will swap it with the current. 
okay and uh, i think yeah it's done let's return the array let's return the array and see if this working or not console.log insertion insertion sort here i am passing the array yeah it works so see how is this working okay so 48 45 is here um, so we have again minus 2 5 1000 minus 7 this is our array this is our array we have to sort it so what we will do we come here we come here we will say um, minus 2 this is sorted okay this is sorted so we will start from minus 5 we will start from minus 5 we will go there um, is this 5 is less than minus 2 no array finish that means this is sorted this is sorted then we will come here 1000 we will see in the 1000 in the 1000 you see uh, 5 you see 5 is like less than 1000 okay minus 2 is less than 1000 okay there is no bigger element than 1000 so we will again break it now finally at the minus 7 if you are at the minus 7 you check you will come in the, this loop first time okay so minus 7 this is the current element okay it is greater than your current element this array of j will be this and current is minus 7 so it's greater than this yes so what you will do array of j plus 1 this is your j this is your i okay this is your i so what you will do array of j plus 1 will become array of j so this is array of j this is array of j plus 1 you will convert this and you will make it 1000 you will make it 1000 so this is 1000 this is 1000 okay now what you will do um, wait for a second array of j plus 1 will become array of j yeah now what we will do we you will do j minus minus so your j will become this you come here okay and you will again check like array of j less than current yes our current is current is minus 7 our current is minus 7 um, let me write it here so that you can understand our current is minus 7 and our array is minus 2 5 1000 and 1000 okay like this so we will say array of j plus 1 array of j plus 1 is array of j so we will cut this make it 5 okay and now we are here now we are here we will again make j minus minus we come here okay we will say is this less than minus 7 yes it is so we will make it um minus what it will make um finally what it make it will make minus 7 here okay Omni, it will make this minus 2 and finally you will come out of the loop out of the loop so after this what you have to do you have to put minus 7 here i think you understand this okay and if you discuss about the time and space complexity this will take off and this will take off and and this complete will take off and okay this will take off and this will take off and so the time complexity will become of n scale of n scale okay but but let's say if my array is like that if my array is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma like that so in that case if you see um it is already sorted already sorted already sorted already sorted already sorted so the time complexity here will be o of n the time complexity of here will be o of n so each time to compare all these insertion selection and uh, bubble sort okay so let's compare it um, let me just scroll down let's compare it we have few algorithms this is our algo okay and then we will see the time complexity then we will see the best time complexity best time complexity then we will see um, the space complexity we have to understand it is in its in place or not okay we will learn about this what is this in place and one more thing that we have to learn is um it is a stable sort or not stable sort or not okay so let's compare it let's compare it so the very first sorting was our bubble sort first sort was bubble sort so the time complexity of like bubble sort is of n square 
ओके ऑफ एन स्केयर बट द बेस्ट टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बेस्ट विल बी ऑफ एन द बेस्ट टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी एन ओके एंड वी राइट इन दिस वे दिस इज द बेस्ट वे ओके सो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी व्हेन द एरे इज ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड इट विल इट विल नॉट स्वैप एनी सिंगल एलिमेंट सो आवर स्वैप इज आवर स्वैप बिकम द फॉल्स एंड इट विल ब्रेक आउट ऑफ द लूप सो दिस इज ऑफ एन स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी ऑफ वन सो व्हाट इज दिस इन प्लेस मीन इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस सो इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस सो दैट टाइप ऑफ सॉर्टिंग इज इन प्लेस सॉर्टिंग so we are saying yes it is not taking any extra space it is stable or not <coughs> <coughs> so how to see if an array is stable or not so if let's say um, let me give you an example um, let's say we have 1 comma um, 2 comma a 5 minus 1 2 comma a 2 comma b cool let's say this is our array so if i sort this if i sort this so what it will become it will become minus 1 2a 2b and 5 now if this 2 because this 2 and this 2 have the same weight but in this array this 2 come first this 2 come first so in the sorted array if they come first that is known as stable sorting but if it can like if it is not come according to their original order then it is unstable sorting okay so bubble sort is the stable sorting yes cool second we have we learn about the selection sort selection sort selection sort time complexity will be of n square the best time complexity is also of n square okay if space complexity will be of 1 in its place is this in its place yes they are not using any extra space is this stable no this is not stable this is not stable because you are picking the minimum element picking the minimum element and like swap it with the first element okay so this is not stable and finally we have to learn about the inversion in inversion it is the time complexity of n square the best time complexity will be of n when n is already sorted its space complexity of 1 in place Yes, it is in place because they are not using any extra space. Stable, stable or not? Yes, it is stable. Cool. Do you have any doubt? Do you have any doubt? We are going to discuss about the algorithm like merge sort and the quick sort in the next class. Uh, both of those algorithm are very fast, and those algorithms are only used in the coding. This bubble sort or like selection sort, they are good for your fundamental. but they are not using any view okay so in the next class we are going to learn about the merge sort and the quick sort so yeah this is it for this video if you have any doubt you can let me know in the chat um live chat